Well, it's a new model of Power Zapper. It's a Power Zapper Uzi 3B. Difference between uh, Power Zapper Uzi 3 and the 3B is that the 3B contains three more frequencies uh, 10,000 Hz, 6,000 Hz, and 5,000 Hz, which gives it a total of 44 frequencies, which is uh, plenty enough, actually. This, this Zapper, too, is. Uh, it runs not just a positive offset, but the pedestal offset, which means, you know, like say for instance this is a square wave, it goes positive, like if you're looking at an oscilloscope, and say that was a zero line, it would go about 10.5 volts positive, and it would not come down to zero, it would stay about a half a volt positive down here. So, that means it never goes below zero, that's something whereby, even under load, that's something whereby Holder Clark said it was very important that the zapper frequency doesn't go below zero because the positive offset works against all microbes and also helps to supercharge the immune system temporarily while you're running the zapper. And if it goes below zero, it's having an opposite effect. It's actually helping the microbes. So having a positive offset with a pedestal offset when it's on the downside it's still above zero, even on the downside, about a half a volt. I think it's 0.53 volts or something like that. It uh, ensures you that your, your, your electrical current is going the correct way to, to fight microbes. Now, in addition to that, it has the frequencies. And what he's incorporated in here is the most common frequencies used off the consolidated fre annotated frequency list, which those frequencies were largely derived by dividing down original right frequencies, not that these are exactly right, they're not they're derived from them, I just I should have used that word. Uh, John Crane, who is uh, the engineer and assistant for Royal Rife, together with Royal Rife, they developed this contact pad type device because there was a problem with using the original Rife machines because they used radio waves and it would be regulated under the FCC and things like that. So this was something to keep it nice and simple that doctors can use in the office, but it never, well, it was basically stopped. It was basically stopped because it was working, it was working, but, you know, the beauty of this is that, you know, it doesn't like, it's not some kind of cure-all or anything like that, but it can assist the body getting rid of microbes. The, um, the, the zapper has been proven to knock out microbes in water. And what I can tell you here is that when you're using this, um, like you look at the human body here, mainly if you apply the zapper to the body, like the handhelds, or the, like you'd have these wrapped up in um, um, paper towels that are wet with uh, saline solution or tap water to conduct electricity, um, normally it's going to go mainly through the bloodstream, except near the contact point it's going to get into the tissue it's not going to go through the entire body like deep into the bone or something it's not going to be able to reach that because the electricity is going to take the path of least resistance but be that as it may normally well in every case basically uh, almost every case disease really starts in the uh, the gut unless you have like a localized infection from a wound or something like that disease normally starts in the gut area what happens though is then it starts overspilling or going into the bloodstream and the body fights it off where the body could see the microbes in a bloodstream and, and the macrophages you know see that and they knock it out but what happens is sometimes the immune system gets overwhelmed and this is where the zapper really comes into play because you can these, these microbes that are actually in the gut that are going into the uh, blood supply from the gut um, you can actually help assist the body getting rid of the microbes in the blood supply with the zapper because the zapper the electrical currents of the zapper will follow the blood supply they will get that they will get that it's not going to get down into every deep tissue there is but if, say, you had a localized infection on your arm or something like that, there was a deep cut, it was infected, you put one of those paddles, the positive offset on that area, it will greatly assist that in uh, keeping it from becoming infected or reversing the infection. Now, these are not the paddles that normally come with it. This is, these are stainless steel. I actually made those. And you can see this is my little uh, mid-sized backpack. 
The thing is, I think with, I have a little battery charger too that works with 9 volt batteries. A solar charger that works with 9 volt batteries. If I ever had to be out someplace and I was, I'd be using a zapper to make to help me make sure I don't get sick from the elements. And I wanted to have some stainless steel. I, the copper is better, but I made some stainless steel ones because you don't have to clean that stainless steel off. In other words, you put it, you wrap a you know a cotton sock on there or something like that. You don't put this on your bare skin, but you wrap a cotton sock on there and. Um, you wet the sock with water, tap water or something, or saline solution, and you would be able to use the zapper by having, see, you turn it on, you'd be able to use the zapper that way, and I wouldn't have to clean these again. The copper, the only, the main disadvantage of the copper is it gets tarnished after a while and you have to clean it. So I made some stainless steel ones for, like, field use, too. Um, I almost call it a survival zapper. And the beauty of these is that, you know, once you buy it, it's got a five-year warranty on it. This one has got enough frequencies that it's not going to have a... It's going to pretty much address every kind of issue there is. I personally like the 10,000 hertz the most. Um, that's a very popular frequency. It's one of, the, one of the ones listed in the consolidated annotated frequency list that has a, a number, dozens of ailments it allegedly addresses. Um, but in conjunction with other frequencies. The other, the other frequency that was added was 5,000 hertz, which is known as a blood cleanser. And the 6,000 hertz, I've noticed that for, uh, I tried 6,000 hertz on one per person I knew, my family, who had Parkinson's. And um, they used it, they used it, the 6,000 hertz for 15 minutes. And the, you know, it's alleged that the 6,000 hertz will help with calming and shaking from the Parkinson's. Well, you know what, it actually did work didn't work like forever, but it worked for the rest of the day. That 15 minute section greatly diminished the effects of Parkinson's shaking for the entire day, just using 15 minutes at that 6,000 hertz. I personally saw that. I was like, wow, that thing really, you know, that's what it's supposed to do. It's supposed to help with that. I said, it really did work. It really did work. Uh, I've been using the zapper for a number of years, and, um, you know, I, I, I've seen where it. Even if you use it a lot and you don't even need to use it, that you seem to have a subtle energy boost. And that's another reason I like the 10,000 hertz mode, which is uh, mode uh, 7 on this. You had three more frequencies. This originally had, usually 3 had 41 frequencies. This has 644. So you added the 10,000 hertz, 5,000 hertz, and 6,000 hertz to it. Um, you know, it's, it's a reliable, and it also puts out. From a 9 volt battery, this will put out around 10 and a half volts, so it puts out a little more voltage. Um, like, in like other words, and I also got to say this you know, it can't do everything, but it does help. It does help. This, this, is, this is the point that I really have to drive home because I don't like people overblowing claims, but then this is not something that doesn't do anything. This does help because, you know, it does reach. It does definitely reach the blood supply, which can help the body when the, when the body is overwhelmed with microbes going into the blood supply from, say, a bad disease that's really form, fermenting in your, or festering in your gut area. Because the, from the gut, it goes into the blood supply. That's really how we get our nutrition, too. But also disease can go into the blood supply. And yes, the body's immune system will fight it, but sometimes it gets overwhelmed. This can help. This can really, this really could, that's just where it really shines the most in some ways. Also, if you got a localized area, see, you had a cut, and you're out there in a the field, and you had no uh, antiseptics. Well, if you put the positive offset side on the cut, and, you know, it's going to kill the microbes that are starting to grow there, and uh, you should not get an infection. That will actually work on some of the tissue down into your arm. It's just that this frequency, these electrical currents, they take the path of least resistance through the body. So, I mean, if you've got a problem in your bone marrow, I mean, it, this the zapper is not going to. I don't see how the zapper is going to reach inside the bone marrow. It, it's because it's electric current. It's like it's going to take the path of least resistance. It's normal. It's going. It's going to go through the blood mainly, which is the. Uh, you know, it's like it's it's a, like a water. It's like blood plasma. And it's going to go through there, but then again, the blood goes through everywhere in the body. So if you got microbes overwhelming the immune system, overwhelming the immune system. 
the blood supply is going to be carrying that throughout the entire body. But if you have the zapper and you're running that, it's going to knock out those microbes and boost your immune system cells in the blood supply while you're running it. That's why it, it's, and that's why it does have merit. Let me put it that way. It has merit versus being a cure. It has merit. That's probably what you should say. It does help to assist. Is it cost effective? Yes, because once you buy this, I mean, it's a five-year warranty. They actually last a lot longer than that. You buy a couple of rechargeable batteries and uh, your little battery charger. Like I said, I have a solar charger, too, that first 9 volt. You're, you're going to be running this thing for years. I mean, you really can't, I mean, there's supplements that can help a lot, different vitamins and, and herbs, but you got to keep buying those. And I'm not saying you shouldn't use those, too, because if you use this in combination with supplements and certain herbs to knock out infections that are really growing in the, in the gut, like, say, even coconut oil, which is a monolaurin, um, that's just a quick example, or vitamin C, or... Uh, French pine bark extract and things like that. Well, you know, in combination with the zapper, it's going to have a great effect. It's like, you know, one things, different things work in different ways. Nothing really does everything. That's just how it is. But this thing does have merit. And um, I actually have several of these. And like I said, you know, these come with a copper, copper handhelds. I actually made these. Um, the one thing disadvantage is stainless steel. This is 316 stainless steel versus 304. If you use, do use stainless steel, you definitely want to use 316. But it has nickel in it. Stainless steel has nickel in it, which can be toxic. But I also figured that if I have it wrapped up in a cotton sock, it's not the nickel is not really going to get into my bloodstream through, you know, the metal as that easily at all. But you know, maybe a billionth of something once in a while, but not, not a much to affect you. But I made I actually made these uh, because I wanted something I can actually take out in a field situation that I'll need to clean off the copper handhelds. So for a specialized situation, uh, the stainless steel is pretty good, but the copper is actually what I use every day. But I'm just displaying the copper ones here, the uh, stainless steel ones here for this, this, this video. But uh, the zapper... And you look how small it is. I mean, you know, you press this. This is the mode button. You got no volume on it or anything like that. It just runs one thing. Uh, it's got, you know, the original. A lot of these frequencies are very powerful in themselves. Sometimes you don't really need to use all these frequencies. The MX mode is a very powerful mode. I mean, it, this, there's a lot of great modes in here. It even has the ultimate zapper mode, which he actually has an improved better. With the 90% positive offset, the 90% positive offset is one. There's two frequencies that don't run the 50% positive off, offset. One's the, the ultimate zapper mode. The main reason I think the 90% the, the ultimate zapper mode probably works pretty good. If that's he he may, he has the ultimate zapper in this, except his his circuitry is better. Um, the ultimate zapper mode probably. I, what I think is going on is like the 90% the positive offset is, in other words, every time this, this wave goes positive, it actually um, destroys microbes, even if you got the wrong frequency, because they're oppositely charged, the, the different from the body. Microbes and the body's normal cells, including the body's immune system cells, are oppositely charged. Microbes are slightly acidic. The body cells are slightly um Alkaline. Now, there's exceptions to that, like the, uh, you know, the acid in the stomach. I mean, that's different. But I mean, normally the body cells are slightly alkaline, and they have a slight negative charge. Well, the zapper actually donates electrons to the body's immune system. That's why it act. The Clark was held. The Clark talked about it temporarily supercharges the immune system, but it also works diminishes diminishes the electrical charge of the microbes and your vibrat vibratorial frequency that the microbes because actually all human cells and, and, and um, microbes they, they actually vibrate, they actually have a frequency themselves that's partly why if you get the right frequency you can kill microbes and these frequencies he's put in here are the most common ones that people have tested over many years actually over decades 
that they seem to work best. At least, you know, according to the vast amount of testimonies out there, which is not proof, but, I mean, if a lot of people are saying it works, I, I think there's merit to it. Although it's never been, this has never been gone through the multi-million dollar testing that is required by the FDA to, to have it as a true medical device. And it, it probably never will, because once it goes through that testing, these devices are going to go right th through the roof in price. Because somebody's going to have to uh, recover the cost. So, you know, and basically, basically what this is, is a frequency generator. But it's got certain settings in it that, you know, in other words, you don't have to play around with going into menus and stuff like that. All you got to do is you have different modes. And you can read on a consolidated annotated frequency list what the various frequencies allegedly do. And but I personally like the 10,000 hertz one the best mode the best because also if you look on the consolidated annotated frequency list, 9,999 hertz, which is basically the same as 10,000, is noted for energy and vitality. And I have noticed that I get more energy when I use this zapper quite a bit. So. What can I tell you, man? Um, I, I've been using this stuff for a number of years, and um, hands down, this is the simplest, most effective thing I ever, the power zapper. I mean, there's other zappers out there that could do some things, but the power zapper, hands down, is the most effective and simplest thing to use. You don't have to go on your computer and download software. You can carry this thing anywhere you want. It's small. If I want to put it in this backpack here, I can shove it right here in one of these pockets. I don't even need to open this thing up here. It's 1970s backpack. It's got a thing like this. You got a <laughs> no velcro. You can just shove it right in there. I like to change modes. You just click that. Goes to mode. You see two two uh, flashes. Mode two, three flashes. Mode three. I think it gets up here. It does different kind of. It does four flashes for four. So. But yeah, it runs great. It runs great and very reliable. And like I said, you know, they're not going to get everywhere in the body. That's one of the limitations. You could try, though. I mean, sometimes uh, you know, it's best to set this up with four paddles. And, um, you know, have it two on the hands, two on the feet. And like three points positive, one point ground. But, you know, sometimes that gets a little cumbersome because you got a lot of wires. But then, if you really need to use it and you're laid up in bed, you know that you, you, that I would I would do that myself because I would think I would recover a lot faster that way. But I usually just use the standard way, which is the two handhelds. And uh, I've been using it every day for about eight hours a day. And uh, like I said, the beauty of it is that once you buy it, it just runs and runs and runs. That's you know supplements. I got to keep buying them. Herbs. I got to keep buying them. Everything else you got to keep buying. This I don't need to keep buying. It's just it's just there. I mean, uh, once in a while, one of the rechargeable batteries after you know a couple hundred charges might crap out or something. I have to get another one, but that's that's like five bucks. That ain't much. I mean, you're talking, you know, maybe a year and a half down the road or something. So, otherwise, they just keep running and running and running. So, I don't know. You can't beat it for the money, in my opinion, anyway. Over now.